What's up everybody? Before I start this video, I do want to announce that the posters that I've been working on for the past couple months that you guys have known about for a very long time and have been asking about for a very, very, very long time are now live on the website. The first link in the description box below is where you can find the website to purchase the posters. The first poster, this is my personal favorite one. I've said that a couple of different times now. I really love the lens flare in this poster that's right up here. This poster is definitely the favorite among the two from the followers, you guys. You guys definitely liked this one more. So I ended up printing both. So if you guys want one or the other, you can get that. Or on the website, there's also an option where you can get both for a cheaper price. Which Every poster that leaves the house, I will be signing unless you guys send me a message otherwise not to sign them, but I will be signing every single poster. Again, I try to make these as cheap as I possibly could for everyone. I went with very, very high quality material though. The paper on the poster is not just a regular piece of paper, it's actually cardstock, so it'll last longer. So today on Black Friday only, if you're watching this the day it came out, there will be a discount code for $2 off the posters, so the posters will be $10 for one of them or $18 for both. And that code is just gonna be Black Friday, all one word and you get yourself $2 off. I sincerely wanna thank all of you guys for making this possible. It's honestly unreal that I get to do that, get to do this, it's just, it's really crazy and I, I'm super fortunate for it and I want to thank each and every one of you guys. It is honestly unreal. Now enjoy the video you're about to watch. It was very fun making, launch control time. Let's get it. My camera just took a crap on me, so we're gonna do this again. Hello, everybody. Today, we're gonna be working on some launch control. TJ's in the car right now. He doesn't want to film this second part of the intro. Eventually, I'm gonna be doing a launch control battle against TJ's GTR, so right now I'm gonna practice with my Mazda V3. We've already done a couple polls so far, but my camera, for some reason, didn't record anything we've been doing so far, so I'm redoing the intro, and now you're gonna see polls of me trying to do launch control. It's more of like a two-step with the Mazda V3. I'm just gonna get good, so when we get the GTR against Mazda V3, won't be as horrible as a comparison. I'm gonna beat your GTR one day with my 830 front wheel horsepower. Your biggest issue is going to be traction. Me and TJ have actually done this before and what we're going to try to do is find what the perfect RPM to bounce off is because this isn't actually a launch control. It's like, I think it's called two step or something like two that. Step. Where it bounces off an RPM and then you dump the clutch and then you just fly off. So right now I'm going to do it what we had it set at last time, which I believe is 3,500 RPMs. I've heard some people in this car go up to like 4,500, but honestly, I'm thinking we almost need to go down from where we were last time. Or you can go higher, but just don't dump the clutch. Just kind of hold like it. Like kind of, you're going to burn clutch a little bit, but like, yeah. I feel like dumping it, we'll see, we'll play with it. But I don't know if dumping it was the best way. We'll find out. We're going to figure it out. Uh, shit. On the beat Tracks control Z. off. Last time I didn't do that at all. Are you kidding? What? Oh my god. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna. So it's actually set at 3,500, but the RPMs on this car are laggy, so it looks like it's 37 and a half. That is that, yeah, it's a little. But it's it's not. It's just how the car is. Really? So let's let's try it. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. gas tank in the back should probably be uh yeah i felt it was a solid start but you had wheel spin through first yeah i did do you think it's too high or too low i think it's for the way i let off so that time i just dumped the clutch so maybe if i did what you were saying of holding it a little bit and kind of it so it's not all power right away yeah i was gonna say either hold the clutch a little bit or lower the rpm just a tad so this time i'm gonna hold the clutch a little bit sure. more okay let's see what happens Oh, much better. Dude, second gear pulls. That wasn't bad. Second, yeah, second gear that pulls. Even, that doesn't do all the boost either. It's 20.65. It goes that was up. solid. So I definitely held the clutch more that time. And yeah, that was way better. First was a lot better. I, I got a lot of wheel spin through... After, after the, the after clutch was completely like, out? Yeah, it's at the end of first head wheel spin. Yeah, and then at the little bit at the beginning of second. Which I almost bad. feel you're, oh, you're gonna get wheel spin no matter what in first. Yeah. You have so much torque. Yeah. But that was yeah, solid. No, That's the second one was really good. It was definitely better than the last time. You gotta remember that the tires are different this time. I have Hankook Ventus V12s this time, and last time I just had not a, like just crap tire, cheap tire, so. <laughs> 
this spot and it's usually no one's ever here and these people in this car just drove down and they're like skateboarding and we can't launch control like Danny's running to talk to him right now <laughs> so they came down here and we can't do launch control because we will literally fly into end of those people so Danny was gonna go talk to him he's coming back now with thumbs up apparently they're moving it was a really awkward interaction he was like dreading it <laughs> what they say they said they're about to move, and I said we'd be, we'd be done in 10 minutes. We'd be like, all right, we'll do that. All right, here we go. Ah. You're better than that, Dan. Yeah, those you... kids are like, what the f was that? <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> Incoming flying missile. Mazda. <laughs> Incoming blueberry. <laughs> When I do it, I my foot's all the way down. Me I too. just kind of like, I mean, you could try to lay off a little bit, but it's the top end. You get through, and then once you grab, once you hit the top of the RPMs, you slip it every time. Like, <laughs> damn, dude. It's my first time launching. I didn't know what it was going to feel like. It's okay. I'm not. Oh, you hear that backfire? Yeah. That, that, was, was, that wasn't that wasn't that was, that, that was That was pretty good. That was all right. That was pretty good. I feel like that was decently okay. Yeah, that was pretty actually pretty good. Compared to all of them, that was pretty good. All right, let's see if you can do it, buddy. These tires have got to be pretty sticky right now since yeah. they're they're nice and fresh. I say they're nice and hot. Yeah, they're all over the ground, so. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is so awesome, man. I mean, it hurts that my tires are everywhere. Hey, at least I got that two-wheel peel action. The thing is, once we lost the clutch completely, it's just, there's just no saving it. I do have Hankook Ventus V12s on there, which are pretty sticky of a tire, but TJ is telling me if I had some other tire, R888s or whatever they are. I'm not sure what they are, that it'd stick. But I don't know, this car has a lot of torque because I'm still on the stock. Um, what the heck, there's water down there. I'm still on the stock turbo, meaning there's a lot of front end torque, a lot of torque right in the beginning. Damn it. It's all right. This has some brakes. Like my second and third one? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you just dump the clutch on this last one and see what I happened? I tried to go a little bit less. I didn't dump it, but I was definitely quicker. Okay, gotcha, so gotcha. I was trying to like balance it. Uh-huh. That's my biggest thing. Benches? Like, I want like uh, tool boxes and benches. Like, I can find the tools. But I was here last time, I couldn't find shit of like benches. Benches. We're in here because TJ's getting a warehouse soon and there's got to be a lot of things done. So, we're just pretty much looking at stuff. I think the main idea today was for paint, but yeah. This would be awesome though. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll get. Ooh, look at the, the torque spits too. TJ, what do we, what, do, what do we got here? What is so this that? This is like, so like, if you if you like are going to a car meet 
and you haven't like fully washed your car, like if you haven't like hosed it down, mm -hmm. you use it. This is more of like a water based with some like cleaning like additive in it. Okay. I'll use the waterless car wash, and Ooh. then once you do that, then you can hit it with the spray wax. Hit it and quit it. What? It's the all-purpose degreaser. But so if you have like crazy like brake dust like me and like oh. all the big brake oh, yeah. out there, like Danny. Oh. All I'm excited like, for that. All the grease and stuff just falls off. And yeah. inside the engine bay where it gets kind of gunky, uh -huh. or the underside of your tray where you know sometimes you get that like really sludgy black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like this, this is a really good polish. You can use Ooh. this on vinyls too. Just a good car. And just, that uh, stuff yeah. smells un it's, unreal it. too. It tastes bad. Don't yeah, don't taste don't, it. don't yep. No. Smells really good. <laughs> Looks good. Don't taste it. Oh, Dan, this all right. is all yours. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. I hope you guys like that randomness of the video. Launch control, a little crazy with my car. I feel like there's too much torque, or at least my wheels aren't sticky enough, or my tires aren't sticky enough to hold to my torque because it was just destroying my tires, which was awesome, but at the same time, it was fun. <laughs> there will be a video soon of me doing launch control or two-step against TJ's GTR. I know I have nowhere near gonna beat him, but it'll be an interesting video to see. So again, guys, I do really, really, really want to thank you for everything. We're super close to 50,000 subscribers, which is just honestly insane to me to think in July or June, I really started going hard with the car stuff and everything's picked up and everyone's actually kind of come to like me. Now, there's definitely those people out there that hate me and you'll see in the comments, but hey, that's life. I don't care. Today is Thanksgiving and I'm just thinking about how thankful and how grateful I am for everything I have. And it's very, 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 very cool. I don't take anything for granted. Every, everything about this is awesome. If you support me by just watching the videos, that's awesome. If you even like the videos, it's even better. If you guys subscribed, or if you guys are OG and subscribed out back in the day, that's huge. If you guys want to support me with these posters, I at the end of the day, I'm doing this for you, but it is also really cool for me to see that other people will have these in their home. And I do want to say that once these are gone, once I do the run of these, I will never do them again. Kind of like the 25,000 subscriber sticker, they will never be ran again. So if you guys want to support me with that, that'd be awesome. If you don't want to or you can't, you don't have the money, don't even worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. It's just cool if you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money